Hey, what's going on guys? See boys, Pilot 2K7 and I'm back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 Real Life Mod video. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day and I appreciate you guys for coming back and checking out today's video. So, it's Monday. We're actually going to be doing a heavy duty repo today, guys. So, we have never done a repo this large. This is going to be the biggest repo we have ever done. Over 1 million dollars of vehicles is going to be repossessed today. It's going to be insane. So, let's hop in our truck and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about the repo once we uh, get some information from my secretary inside so today we're gonna be using our Kenworth T440 wrecker and this should be perfect for what we have to repossess today guys so let's head inside the shop I'll just park up right here on the side for a minute and let's go talk to Jess and see uh, what exactly we are doing today. What's up guys? How you guys doing? Jess, talk to me. What we got? Okay. I'm all over the place with my camera. Okay, all right, cool. All right, so just just informed us guys. It's about to go down. We have a uh, One of my workers is on scene of the location of what we're gonna be repossession he repossessing He's in an unmarked vehicle right now So obviously we're not gonna send him over there with a vehicle that says tow on it because then they're gonna know that we're trying to spot it, Spot the vehicle that's up for repossession. So he's over there in an unmarked vehicle We're gonna go head over there and pick it up, but we're gonna be repossessing guys a Mercedes-Benz Actros motorhome. I probably said that wrong, but it's a Mercedes-Benz motorhome or motorhome slash RV built on a Mercedes-Benz Actros chassis. And this thing is crazy, guys. It's sick. It has pop-out and slide in doors. You could literally fit a sports car inside of the motorhome, guys. This is like big, big, high dollar price tag stuff here that we're going to be repossessing is crazy now it also comes with a custom trailer as well and the trailer is up for repossessing as well as a two jet skis and a dirt bike so this person is way behind on all of their bills and we are repossessing everything we're going to try to get it in one shot it's going to be crazy now in gta 5 there's no way to really look at vin numbers for um like in the game so instead we'll just use license plates so the uh the mercedes-benz motorhome is going to be license plate zero to uh q s as in sam t five five zero so i need you guys to remember that license plate so that once we get to the location you guys can help confirm if that's the right motorhome or not the second vehicle we're going to be picking up is going to be uh the trailer and then the third vehicle is also going to be a i think it's like a polaris like all-terrain vehicle so that license plate is going to be eight four x as an x-ray q f as in frank 370 so we're going to look for that as well on top of the trailer and on top of the two jet skis and dirt bikes so let's go ahead and get to work guys we have alex coming with us as well and um you guys probably noticed i'm not in my traditional tow attire we actually are wearing all black today because we're doing our repossession so let's get ready to go now most of the time we do our repossessions like at night, but you know, we're just going to go at this one during the day. Alright, so here's Alex. Let's get him inside the truck. What's going on, Alex? You ready? Alright, let's roll out. So if you guys don't know Alex, he, he always rolls out with us on all of these repos that we do. Not all of them, but most of the repos because you guys know, repos are dangerous business. Like, people get mad when you try to repossess their stuff. So, I like to have somebody with me just in case it goes down. Somebody can help watch my back. And it did go down a couple times. We had like a stripper chase us one time. We also had... We got shot at, we got into a fight, so we had a lot of different crazy repos, guys. But anyway, let's make our way towards the location here. Alright, let me 
check my map and see exactly where we are going. So it's gonna be up in Vinewood, should be about right there. So it shouldn't take us too long to get there. If you guys do enjoy this episode, you guys are enjoying all of the mods you guys have seen so far, do me a favor, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button, leave some comments down below, and subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell as well because we're gonna be uploading a lot of videos every single day. And I don't want you guys to miss it because we're going to be doing a lot of fun things. So, uh, what else we got to talk about? Oh, I did a little bit of a behind the scenes post on my Instagram as well. So, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, definitely check me out over there as well. And I'm just going to adjust the sound because I feel like this truck is really loud right now. And I want it to sound like I'm talking over it. So, we're just going to put that down a little bit. Holy crap, what is it? Oh, I'm about to tow that guy truck. He don't look like he should be driving right now. Yeah, it's Monday, guys. The start of the week. It's time to get this money in game. Go after these repos, and yeah. All right, let's yield to him. We don't want to hit that guy. But yeah, the bank. If we get all of the vehicles, like they're gonna actually give us a bonus as well. So hopefully, all of the vehicles are there. So far, we know the motorhome is there, but I'm hoping the our the um trailer home is there, and I'm also hoping that the jet ski and dirt bike is there as well because like i said the bank is going to actually give us a bonus and we could collect everything at one shot so that is the goal here Alright guys, that red uh, Silverado over there, that's one of our workers, so let's go talk to him and see what exactly is going on. I'm just going to turn on my lights and we'll park up right here. Hey, what up, what up? So, um, anyway, listen, uh, still haven't picked up Steve's <laughs> We had to wait for him to finish his call. All right, so is it still there? All right, cool. We're about to move in. Um, I want you to just kind of watch if things get crazy. If it looks like we're about to get, you know, attacked or anything, just call the police, okay? All right, cool. So he's going to kind of just watch our back while we're in there. And Alex and I are moving in. And let's go ahead and recover this equipment. Alright, here we go guys. Here we go. Turn our lights off. Yep, I see it. I see it right there. Alright, I gotta try to back up in here. go gotta be careful not to break anything here because they definitely will try to sue us oh shoot there's people out here guys okay we're just gonna we're just gonna act like we're here to pick up the the rv because it broke down hopefully they don't ask any questions all right let's get the uh underreach down really quickly this is gonna take much longer than a regular recovery as well all right, here we go. All right, let's get to work. We're gonna do this fast. Hey, how you guys, how you ladies doing? Uh, we're just here to pick up the RV. It's getting, uh, they said it broke down or something like that. So we're just taking it to the mechanic shop, okay? Okay. All right, we lied to them guys. Shh. 
Alright, Alex, I'm gonna check the uh, RV and see if all the other vehicles are here. Uh, start getting this thing connected, so start with the forks and everything like that and get the truck in position, and I'll, I'll clear out the uh, motorhome, okay? Alright, so Alex is gonna start getting the forks and everything hooked up. Let me just confirm the license plate here. So it is 02QST550. Let's double check. And yep, that is correct. All right, so let me go ahead and see if anybody's in here. Okay, this part is completely open. So you could actually kind of fit like a sports car in here, believe it or not. Uh, let's see if anybody's inside the RV. Okay. All right, nobody's inside right now. I do have the keys for this too. We got an LG TV in here. I'll, I'll look at this a little bit more once we get to the shop and show it to you guys. I know you guys probably want to see it, but for right now, we're just making sure uh, that nobody's in here. Okay, nobody's in here, so we can take it. And we can put the uh, pop-ups down and everything like that as well. Oh, the pop-ups weren't even open yet. You guys didn't even see it. Okay, I'll show you guys really quickly. Oh, the pop-out's on the other side. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, we got to go, we got to go. All right, let's... Oh, here we go. Hello, guys. How you guys doing? I was just here to pick up the motorhome. The guy called and said it broke down. Oh, crap. All right, guys, so the uh, all-terrain vehicle isn't in here. Um, I wonder if it's in one of these garages. If it's inside, we won't be able to take it unless we have clear access to it and it's outside. Dang it. I really want to get all these vehicles. We do have the um, the dirt bike and the two jet skis, so that's good. But the bank is only going to give us the bonus if we get the uh, all-terrain vehicle, too. Let me just look around a little bit. Oh, shoot. I think that's it. Hey, how you doing, sir? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, he's not asking any questions. There's a lot of people here, but they're just, like, chilling and hanging out. So as long as we don't look like we're doing anything we shouldn't be should be okay oh yeah let's check the license plate I forgot gotta do everything by the book all right eight four x-ray queen fox truck three seven oh okay that's it let's go let's go let's go all right perfect all right they left the key in it perfect all right so let's go load this up into the trailer Alright, I'm gonna put this inside of here, guys. Oh, I wish there was more time in the day. I already know. Woo! <laughs> oh, shoot, I like launch myself. Okay. Alright, so let's try to get out. Let's actually lock it down first. So I'm just gonna attach. Actually, no, we gotta attach the right item. Alright, let's go to Entities, Mesa. I'm gonna attach that to the home trailer. And that looks good. Let's just hop out. It's normal to spy on your girlfriend. And let's get That's the doors up. Now, when this thing closes, it kind of like moves around a bit. Don't mind that. All right, so that's gonna close. We got that. Let's see how uh, Alex is doing with the motorhome. I'm gonna just get all of these other doors closed up in the meantime. So we'll close that. We'll close all of these. And we'll close that passenger and leave the driver's side open for now. Alright, so far so good guys, so far so good. Nobody came outside. You got the forks on? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up. Oh, this thing is pretty low too, but we can slide under it and grab it. Put that all the way down to the flow. lift it up and we got it okay now this model i can't really lift it too much off the ground so we're just gonna have to role play it but yo alex throw those chains really quickly i'm gonna get the airlines attached oh crap we got the differential too all right we gotta work fast we gotta work fast 
Okay, so while he's doing that, let me uh, get the wireless light bar. And we're actually going to have to put that on the back of the trailer. Uh, since we're going to be pulling a trailer as well as one shot. So let's put that on there. Perfect. And that's pretty much so that vehicles behind us know what we're doing. Like we put on our turn signal, our brake lights, they'll know what we are doing. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Hello. You guys can put the gun down. You can put the gun down. We, it's just a repossession. Relax. Oh, shoot. Alex, don't move. Don't move. Uh, hey, how you guys doing? My name is Ace. I'm here with Ace Towing and Recovery. Um, we do have a repossession order for the vehicle. No, we're not stealing it. No, we have a repossession order. I understand, but we do have repossession order. I'm sorry. I, I could show it to you if you guys like. Just put the guns down. Oh shoot, guys! All right, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show them my repossession order. It's it's in the truck, okay? I'm just gonna grab it out the truck. I'm not doing anything funny. You can put the gun down, all right? Oh shoot! All right, so we got Mary Weza security here, guys. He just rolled up on us. Oh, sh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chill, chill, chill. Okay guys, so as you can see, uh, we have a repossession order from Mays Bank, and here's your, uh, here's your boss name as you can see, the owner of this property as well as these vehicles, he's a couple months behind, and Mays Bank wants us to repossess it now. He could contact them directly, and it, they, he could figure out if he can make a payment or not, but as of right now guys, we already have it on the hook. And we have to take the vehicle. I'm sorry. We're, I'm just doing my job. Just like how you guys are doing your job, I'm just doing my job, okay? Well, I'm sorry, sir. I, I have to take it. Sir, you didn't have to hit my clipboard out of my hand. You guys can relax, okay? I, I'll call the cops, and we'll get the cops here, and we'll go that way. All right, fine. All right, that's it, guys. I'm calling the cops. Alex, you keep working. Uh, they're saying they're not moving their car. They're not letting us out. But I'm just going to get the cops here, and we'll just have to settle it that way. All right, guys. So the cops are on scene. Thank you, officers, for coming down. So uh, here's my... um. Let me give you guys my paperwork again so you guys can see what is going on. Okay. Ah. The clipboard disappeared but basically what's going on I'm here with Ace Tone and Recovery my name is Ace uh, that's Alex over there he works for me now we have a court not a court order we have a repossession order from Mays Bank as you can see this has a repossession order for the two vehicles located at this address uh, we have the motorhome and you can see the license plate right here let me just pull it up so you could confirm the license plate is 02QST550. And we also have a uh, all-terrain vehicle that's in that trailer, which is 84XQF370. And if you look here, we, we also have information about the trailer, two jet skis, and a dirt pipe, which is going to be what we're repossessing here today, sir. So we were doing our repossession. Uh, these two guys came, and they said we were not allowed to take it. They came guns drawn. They thought we were trying to steal it. I explained. I showed them the same repossession order I'm showing you, and they, they said we're not allowed to take it, and they're not moving their car. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, guys, so the police, um, they read our court, I keep saying court order, they read our repossession order, and they said that we're good to go. They're going to stand by and wait while we do the repossession, just for our safety, because these security guards were threatening us with firearms. So uh, let's finish this up. Let's uh, pull a differential, then we can go ahead and get out of here. Oh, well, you know what? Let me, we got to start connecting these two. All right, so... We'll pull the differential, we'll get this connected, and then we'll get out of here. Yo, Alex, that was crazy, right? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. So the police is still standing by, uh, make sure everything goes okay. Security's still over here pissed off and yelling at us, but it's whatever. Let's go ahead and get out of here. It's going to be tight. Well, let's see if we can do this. I have to try to swing this extremely wide here.
that tire is dragging, but for some reason I can't lift it up all the way, but it's okay. hard but we got out all right guys so we successfully got the motorhome out of the person's property now we just got to get it to our garage now we don't have enough space down here in the city so I'm actually gonna take it to my county location up here since we have a little bit more storage space and speaking of that um, a lot of you guys were telling me that I should get another shop down here in the city so I am looking for a new location see if we could find another area where we could put like a storage lot or we could put our tow company so that we could continue to expand since we have so many uh, trucks and vehicles we have to store All right guys, so we have about three and a half miles to go. It shouldn't take us too long. I'm gonna go to local way this time. I'm not gonna drive on the highway, mainly because you guys know making that left turn into Sandy Shores is always a pain. So instead of even trying, I'm just gonna go to local way this time. All right, so so far everything is looking good. I did notice I got to take these turns really slowly because for some reason it kind of like accelerates and go out of control if I take a turn too fast so that's why I slow down so much but anyway guys let me know what do you guys think the bank is going to do with this vehicle I wonder if they're going to try to sell it off and I wonder how cheap they're going to sell it for it's worth a million dollars all right sorry guys I got a phone call in real life there uh oh are we going to be able to get up this hill I'm struggling a bit the wheels are dragging on the motor home. Oh, careful. Okay, so yeah, basically like I was saying, I wonder what they're gonna do. I don't really have a personal need for something like this. Cause you know, we don't really go out that often, but maybe if we could get this for a good price from the bank, maybe we could buy it and then like rent it out or something like that. I think that would be like a good source of income. So let me know what you guys think about that. Obviously, it all would depend on how much the bank is selling it for. I know when it was brand new, it was worth $1 million, but I'm not sure how much uh, payments he made on it and not sure how much it's currently worth now. Dang, this may have been a bad idea, guys, coming this way. Maybe we should have just took the highway and went to Grapeseed because this area is going to be a pain with all of these turns. But I guess we're really going to put the Kenworth to the test today. We do have a bigger Kenworth and a bigger Peterbilt as well that we could have used today, but I figured we'll be okay with this truck. Let's see what happens. So far, so good. We're hauling okay. Looks like the uh, Kenworth is able to handle it.
Oh shit, sure. now we gotta go downhill. Speaking of going downhill, make sure you guys check out Bag Customs. He released a new video, I think yesterday, and he's working on a new Kenworth uh, semi truck, and it actually has a pretty cool Jake brake effect as well. So make sure you guys check out that video. Um, I'll try to link it in the video description and throw it up top right as a card. But that would be nice to like hit a Jake break in sound in game right now. Whoa. These roads are really windy too. I had to take it nice and easy because this is an easy spot for like a semi truck or a bus or a vehicle to like just flip over, you know? We actually had a pretty bad rollover right here one time. We had a semi truck and a dump trailer that went off the bridge there. As you see, that's still damage to the bridge. Um, and we pretty much had to use two rotators. We used the Peterbilt and we used the bigger Kenworth to pull them back up. That was pretty crazy. If you guys have not seen that one, definitely check it out. I'll link that one here as well. Alright guys, we're almost there. We got about another mile to go. I didn't really know this until now, but I guess the name of this thing is a Century on 1200. Alright guys, so we made it to our shop. Let's go ahead and bring everything inside. All right, just so that the gate doesn't close, because sometimes it closes as soon as the uh, like my tow truck gets in, but it hits our trailer. I'm just gonna have him stand there to hold it open for us. And there we go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and release this right here. And we do have the key for this thing, so we don't really have to park it up. Or we don't have to use our tow truck to park it up, I should say. So let's go ahead and get everything to detached. Perfect. 
Alright, so let's park up this truck. Turn the lights off. There's our larger Kenworth over there, the W900. Sorry about the texture loss. It's been a long day, guys. Alright, so we'll park that up right there. We'll bring up the underreach. And put it a little bit further back, and we are good. Alright, so good job to the T440 today. You can stay here for the night till we get another call. Let's uh, mess around with this motorhome a little bit. So we're going to put this in the rear yard. Uh, like I was saying, Centrion 1200 by Concord. So I guess that would be the official name for this thing. So let's try to back it up. I don't even know if we have a large enough area to get this thing spun around with, but I'm going to try. Alright. Check out the interior. Oh wow. This is a really nice motor home here. I wonder how should I park this. I'm going to park it the way I normally do, actually. Or oh, you know what we could do? We could drop the trailer here to kind of save some space. I'll just try to put it all in as one. As you guys can see, the yard is actually empty. We got rid of a lot of the crashed uh, trucks and trailers that were here. I feel like we're still taking up a little bit too much space though. So what I'm going to do, let's uh, put this to the side, like right here. And remember, we do have the uh, all-terrain vehicle in there, the Polaris. So we'll leave that right there, and then we'll park up the motorhome right here. And I guess you guys probably want to see like how it looks. So let's do a quick interior look of this thing. I'm just going to open everything up. So the cool thing with this, uh, you can actually open up some of the windows too, like the shades. So that's pretty cool. And you can do that on both sides. Um, you can also open up everything in the interior. So let's take a good look at the interior since we were kind of rushing earlier. So let's head inside. Now this is still a work in progress as well as like a beta. So some things are not finished yet. But it's still cool and you guys could download it. It is going to be linked down below in the video description. But so far it's really nice. I really like this name brand TV we have here. I like the captain chairs here. Very nice. I like how we could just kind of like walk into the um, like cockpit area, I guess you could say. Nice range, stove. Very nice. So yeah, like this back area isn't finished yet. So as you can see, this is a work in progress. A bedroom will be fitted here at some point. So they'll probably put like a nice bed. 
and then probably something back here maybe a bathroom or something but it's pretty cool so far so let me know what you guys think about it like i said this is a little bit out of our price range at a million dollars i wouldn't buy this like for myself since i don't personally go RVing much we did buy the fleetwood jamboree if you guys missed that one on the ford e450 chassis definitely check that one out i'll link it down below as well that was a little bit more in our price range and budget this is really nice but like i said it's a little bit out there but maybe we could use this and like rent it out so let me know what you guys think maybe we could start like a rental company and we could rent this thing out for like the weekend or for weeks or whatever i think that would be a good idea but it all de it all depends on what it, the banks ends up doing oh maybe the customer would like just pay for it and the bank would tell us to take it back to the customer or maybe the person won't pay for it or it's just too late and a bank is just going to auction it off and if they do depending on the price we may try to scoop it up but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button leave some comments down below and subscribe if you are new guys so thank you guys so much for watching really do hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace